What's up, my boys? Welcome to Gimarej. 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 We have drove all the way here to Gimarej because so many of you guys have told us to come and see this place. We've had literally thousands of comments. So now we're gonna shut you up with uh, some videos from here. <laughs> I cannot wait to get started with this uh, video. Before we are setting out to explore this beautiful uh, city, we are going to take advantage of this amazing breakfast table that we were served here at Hotel de Oliviera. And um, this is located literally on the main center square the most beautiful uh, square in the city. Amazing. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day and I think they are right when the breakfast looks like this, uh, this at least. This is ridiculous. This is like a scene out of Home Alone when he's like at the, the oh, plaza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin! You spent $967 on room service! <laughs> So we are starting out here at Lago da Oliveira and uh, yeah, this is our hotel room up there and look at this view we have here and we, we're gonna start up with two fun facts um, about this little town. So this monument here uh, is a great example of uh, how interesting, entertaining the Portuguese people are because this was built like a you monument after they beat the Spanish people. That's all it means. We're better than the Spanish people. It's not a rivalry. It's just a. Uh, it's an historical hatred. At the basic. <laughs> <laughs> Another fun fact that you find on this square is actually right behind me in this beautiful, very old Gothic church, because it's a saying, and everybody in 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 Gimarej, they know that this angel has some very dirty business going on. So this cute little angel up there is actually taking care of his own business the way that Marilyn Manson would probably do it, you know? Also, this is our first vlog with Lara, where she is with us around. So we have to adapt to that so she doesn't uh, run the show. It's it's a it's it's a big transition. But the first thing we are going to do today is actually just taking a stroll here in the historical center because this is actually UNESCO heritage. So it is supremely well maintained and one of the best examples of medieval architecture. So, you know, this is where Portugal was born, so, you know, we have to talk about History. We have to talk a little bit about the first king of Portugal. Yeah. Do you prefer the bag? <laughs> Easy. This is our new life. <laughs> our vlogs will from now on be half as long. Literally three minutes later. I was I who had the gamle day in the window. I don't know what is prettiest, an ice cold superbuck or Gimarez. Gimarez is absolutely beauti more beautiful than a superbuck. Come are you on, sure? are you kidding me? I don't think you've had enough beer then. No, to be honest, I must say that this is, my opinion, probably the prettiest town in that we have seen in Portugal. Why? Even more than Porto? More than Porto. Because in Porto it seems a bit more melancholic, the atmosphere, where here it has a bit more of a 
brightness and a lightness to it. So even though it's a compact town, you have heaps of beautiful squares everywhere. I also feel like it has been maintained better than it has in Porto because here it's a UNESCO heritage. So here they're not allowed to touch anything. They, it will be maintained the same way. In Porto, a lot of areas you are allowed to put new ugly windows in the buildings and switch the door to a very ugly safe door, you know. Before we go into all the history and fun facts about Guimarães, we have to talk about the most important thing, which is of course football. Because we were supposed to be here in April when Vitoria SC, which is a team here in Guimarães, played Braga. And this is the most intense rivalry. We just talked with the, the bartender here and he said that Guimarães and Braga, they probably hate each other more than Sporting and Benfica. We will definitely come back for, you know, when we're allowed to, to get to these matches. As we usually do when we go new places um, around uh, Portugal, we ask the real experts, you guys, what is the most important thing to do here. We've gotten hundreds of replies on the Instagram. Go follow us. We're going to make two videos here in Guimarães. In these two vlogs, we are going to the castle. There is this super well-preserved castle here that is like uh, pivotal to the whole uh, town here. And then you can take a cable car all the way up to the top of a mountain where they have what is called Sanctuario da Peña. From up there, you get an incredible view. Before we get to that, we have to talk about another thing. One thing that Guimarães and the north of Portugal is uh, very known for is design craftsmanship, especially when it comes to clothing, furniture, and in this case, linen. It's actually census linen that we have been working with before, who have also invited us up here this time for us to come and see their factory. So that is something we want to focus a bit on in this video as well, because Portugal hasn't really been recognized for its amazing craftsmanship. A lot of big brands actually produces everything that they have in their, in their repertoire. Sandro Paris produces their shoes in Portugal. Kenzo have production in Portugal. We're gonna go show you guys how a Portuguese factory look like. Yeah, so where we are visiting is Census Linen's factory and we are going to take you through how they make our bed linen yeah. that we have at home. This is where it all starts. These are sticks filled with Egyptian cotton and all Census Linen bed linens are made out of Egyptian cotton. So basically they collect these beautiful cotton sticks in Egypt and then they send them all the way to Portugal where they make them into thin threads and they make the threads into big sheets of fabric. I've always been super infatuated with the whole process of manufacturing something. You know, everything we see around us has, most of it has been made by man. You know, this t-shirt. Um, Even you. Really? You drive, you drive too fast. You speak too high. This phone, watch, whatever. It's very impressive how humans are able to do this. Thank you. 
interesting fact is that when uh, you uh, make an order here, they actually don't make your bed linen until that step. So it's like getting, you know, the freshest meat from your butcher, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's straight from the hot press and, and, and to your hot bed. But guys, we are doing a giveaway because we are featuring Census Linen in this video and the next, because in the next video we're gonna see their pop-up uh, store in Guimarães. And this giveaway will be a set of 400 um, TC. Uh, that's the one we use in our bed. So you can find all the information on this giveaway down below in the description. You can also get these <laughs> with 10% uh, off if you use our promo code Stay Classy. Welcome to Guimarães Castle. We are within the castle walls. We are um, back in uh, the city and uh, it's day two, so we're full of energy as you can see. Behind the camera is the castle of Guimarães, of Guimarães and behind us here is the palace of the Duke of Braganza, which is a uh, extremely uh, well preserved uh, um, building from the 15th, hundred, um, 15th century. Uh, it looks like something from Harry Potter. Yeah, I, I, they must have been coming here. Like Portugal must have been the scene setting for for the Harry Potter book. But she, she, she actually she was did. inspired by Portugal yes. for most of her body. We wanted to get inside and, and see because it's really beautiful. But we couldn't bring the two most important things in our life. The camera and uh, the puppy. and the puppy. So and the same goes for for Castello uh, for the castle. We're going. To, we're just gonna see it from the outside. So this church here is old. It actually dates back to the beginning of the 30, 13th century. But also, King Afonso the first was actually bad type. Bad. Bad types, bad types, bad types. And that goes back a hundred years before. So I believe this church is even older than it has been um, documented. So basically we're standing at the very beginning of, of Portugal because the first king was baptized here and he is, you know, the great conquistador, the, the one who brought Portugal on the map. There is a lot of uncertainty about all these facts because we don't know for sure if uh, King Alfonso I was actually baptized in here. And there's another story because actually King Alfonso was not the first king of Portugal. He was the second king because he was the son of Fernandes. It's believed, but the father, the believed to be father of uh, King Alfonso I was actually also the first king of Portugal. But back then it was called Portucala which means beautiful port, uh, which came out of, you know, when they discovered Douro, uh, they saw a beautiful um, port. <laughs> King Afonso, I'm here to declare war. Denmark won Portugal back, but um, in all seriousness, this is in many ways uh, symbolic of, of all the moments that led to uh, Portugal's independence. So guys, this is the first of our Guimarães videos here. Yeah, we, um, we have so much more we want to see, but in the next one. We will leave all the information for the giveaway down below. You know, the linen that's so good that you know, even, you as, get out of even if you're single, you feel like you have a lover. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obrigado por ver o vídeo. Até logo. Ruff, ruff. Yeah, what are you going to say? Ruff, até ruff. <laughs> <laughs>